Okay, our task here is to show that this equation has at least two solutions. And there is a formula we could apply here to solve for x, but it's a reasonably messy business to apply it. And there's an easier way to show the existence of two solutions using the intermediate value theorem. And remember, the intermediate value theorem says that if f of x is continuous on the closed interval from A to B and F of A is say greater than zero and F of B is less than zero or alternatively F of A is less than zero and f of b is greater than zero, in other words, f changes sign on the interval, then there is some c in the open interval from a to b with f of c equal to zero. And we can apply this here here we have a polynomial, so we let f of x equal x to the 4 plus 2x cubed minus 2. And notice that f of 0 is negative 2, which is less than 0. Notice also that the leading power here is an even power. It's x to the 4. So as x approaches infinity, uh, certainly this polynomial goes to plus infinity because this highest power x to the 4 takes over. And as x approaches negative infinity, also the x to the 4 takes over and the uh, values of the function approach plus infinity. So if I take x large enough, an absolute value, then this function must get positive. So let's try f of 10. And this is equal to 10,000 plus 2,000 minus 2, which is certainly greater than 0. So now by the intermediate value theorem, since f of 0 is less than 0 and f of 10 is greater than 0, and f of x is continuous on that closed interval, there is some value c between 0 and 10, I don't know what it is, with f of c equals 0. So this is a solution to the equation. So I know it exists, but I don't know exactly what it is. Now I'd like to find another one. And so again, for very large negative numbers, f of x should be positive. Well, let's try f of negative 10, because it's easy to calculate with. And this is again 10,000 minus 2,000 minus 2. So it's 8,000 minus 2, which is certainly greater than 0. So again, by the intermediate value theorem, there is some d in the interval, the open interval from minus 10 to 0, with f of d equals 0. Now that d is in that open interval, the c is in the open interval from 0 to 10. These intervals do not overlap, so therefore c is not equal to d since minus 10 to 0 and 0 to 10 do not overlap. So my conclusion is that
x to the 4 plus 2x cubed minus 2 equals 0 has at least two solutions. It may have more, it may even have more in those intervals, but all I know right now is that it has at least two.